Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to discuss uh, the surface anatomy of the brain stem. Regarding this anatomical module, as you see, the brain stem can boast mainly from three parts. The superior part is the middle brain, the middle part is the bones, and the inferior part is the medulla oblongata. Regarding to the uh, brain stem, it's an important structure in our body because it's a passageway for many tracts and also contains respiratory and cardiovascular center and contain a nucleus for many cranial nerves and also responsible for the conscious level. For these reasons, the brain stem is an important structure in the nervous system. For the first part, we're going to discuss the medulla oblongata, the inferior part of the brain stem. This is the medulla oblongata. As you see in the anterior surface of the medulla oblongata, this is the anterior medium fissure. The anterior median fissure. This is the anterior median fissure. On the lateral aspect of anterior median fissure, on, on both aspects, uh, there is elevation. Uh, this elevation is the pyramid. As you see, this is the pyramid, and this is also the pyramid. Okay. The pyramid contains nerve fibers called corticospinal tract. Well, uh, also in the pyramid, there is a, a decussation of the uh, spinal tract called pyramid decussation. Well, lateral to the pyramid, uh, there is also an elevation. This is elevation called uh, this is called olive. Behind this olive, there is inferior olivary nuclei. Well, this is the pyramid. This is the olive. Behind the olive, there is inferior olivary nuclei. Between the olive and the pyramid, the roots of the cranial nerve, the hypoglossal nerve. This is the hypoglossal nerve between the pyramid and the olive. This is the hypoglossal nerve. Well, posterior posterior to the pyramid, as you see, a posterior to the olive, this is the olive. And as you see, this is uh, the fibers, we call it inferior cerebellar peduncle, inferior cerebellar peduncle, which connect the olive, uh, which connect the uh, medulla oblongata to the cerebellum. Well, this is the olive, this is the inferior cerebellar peduncle, which connect the medulla oblongata to the cerebellum. Well, between the olive and the inferior cerebellar peduncle, this is the root of the cranial nerve, which is a glossopharyngeal nerve. Glossopharyngeal nerve. While this is the vagus nerve. This is the vagus nerve. And this is the accessory nerve, the uh, cranial part and the spinal part of the accessory nerve. Uh, that's a uh, whole regarding uh, to the lateral aspect of uh, medulla oblongata. Well, for the posterior aspect of medulla oblongata, as you see, this is the posterior median sulcus. The posterior median sulcus. Well, on the uh, both aspect of the posterior median sulcus, there is two elevation. Uh, the first one, this is the medial one, the medial elevation, call it a gracile tubercle and the lateral one called cuneate tubercle behind this the gracile tubercle there is a gracile nucleus and behind this there is a also nucleus called a cuneate nucleus cuneate nucleus posterior median sulcus gracile tubercle cuneate tubercle well the, the upper part of medulla oblongata uh, also contribute to the uh, lower part of the fourth ventricle while the inferior part of the medulla oblongata contribute to the central canal of the spinal cord. That's whole thing regarding to the medulla oblongata regarding this anatomical module. Um, hope you have a nice day. Adios.